My name is George Phillips. I'm the paleontology curator at the Museum of Natural Science. As of the early 2000s, we had five different groups of dinosaurs represented in Mississippi. Until recently, two weeks ago, collecting near New Albany, Mississippi, we found a sixth group of dinosaur, represented really only by a tooth. Uh, we were collecting in a creek bed, looking for not dinosaur remains, but we were actually looking for fossil crabs and fossil mollusks, dating to the days of the dinosaurs, but not necessarily looking specifically for dinosaur remains. Uh, this is a significant discovery with respect to dinosaur biogeography. Ceratopsian or horned dinosaurs were essentially unknown from Eastern North America until these two discoveries, the North Carolina jawbone and this tooth. So this is, again, this is a very significant discovery, this discovery of a horned dinosaur tooth. After I posted the picture on Facebook, um, a dinosaur paleontologist in California offered to publish on it. So we're going to co-author a publication on this tooth, which means I need to send this tooth off to California so that it may be compared to other dinosaur teeth from more complete remains. So we have a better idea of exactly what type of horned dinosaur we're dealing with. This particular tooth um, will probably be compared to many different skeletons in many different collections in Western North America, but also the American Museum of Natural History, the National Museum in Washington, DC, and probably specimens from Canada as well, because Canada has a very good dinosaur fossil record. Yeah.